Wow, man, just when we thought things couldn't get worse, it gets worse. The tension in his arc was already high, but now with this info dump of devils and the information of the tree of Cliftoff, what can possibly happen in the next seven days to the world and William and Yami? Oh man, just skyrocket. There were some grammar issues in the fan translations that came out, but you guys already know, once the official release is out, I will do a breakdown video on that on Sunday. So there are certain things in this chapter I don't want to dwell too much on until we get more context. But let's not waste any more time, let's get right into it. Black Clover chapter 263, Shadows Information. So this chapter begins with the captains are spooked out that Nox just showed up with Asta and they don't know who he is. They screaming out intruder. Heck are you? They ready to fight and all of a sudden you see these four demons behind them that Nox has summoned. They're right behind the captains. They're behind Nozelle, Fagolion, Charlotte, and Jack. And Asta looking around like four devils. There were more. And Nox explains to them that he has the right to be at this conference meeting as well. Now when Nox summoned these four creature demon things, it reminds me so much of Kagazu and Naruto, the way he summoned these four little creatures that fight for him. It reminded me of that when I seen Nox summon his four little devils. It's not the exact same, they don't look exactly the same, but there is some similarities there. But I also thought about the German folklore. If you ever heard about the town musicians of Bremen, there was four creatures. It was a dog, a chicken, a donkey, and a rooster, which the story is about them escaping from their master. And in the Black Clover, in this chapter, you see that these demons that Nox summon, they have a face of a cat, a donkey, a rooster, and a dog, which the one that looks like a dog, I don't really know. If it's a dog, it's really a ugly dog that Nox summoned, but it could be a reference to this story that Tabata is doing here because they escape. So maybe these four demons that Nox summoned also escape from the underworld, just like Zagrid. Who knows, but I'm gonna save that for a whole different video. Julius then calms down the situation. He says that he is a vice captain of the Black Bulls. He was a inside man in the Spade Kingdom for me, but I didn't know that he was devil possessed, which is crazy to think about in Julius' case because Julius is the most nosiest person in the entire world in Black Clover. He's nosy, he spies on everyone, like he's sneaky. But it is crazy to think that he did not know that Nox was a devil possessed. Maybe Nox just used his other magic attributes since devil users do have two attributes, excluding Asta because he has no mana, but maybe Nox just hide his other magic. And given the situation now, there's no point of hiding anything anymore. Jack started to realize that he's seen Nox somewhere before, which he did. He's seen him in the Great Deers during the time when Julius, Yami, and William were on the same team. And it's crazy to think that all these guys were on the same team before. I swear, this was like the equivalent to the Black Bulls. The Great Deers were the old Black Bulls because of the amount of unique talent you have on a team. You have Julius, Yami, William, and Knox. Like, who else were on the Great Deers? I wouldn't be surprised if Marx was on the team. If you don't know who Marx really is, it's Mushroom Head who follows Julius all the time, his attendant. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he was on the team as well. Knox then talks about it that he'd rather not waste any more time, so let's get straight to the point. He explains, I'm sure that everyone knows this, but the gate of the underworld will be opened in the Spade Kingdom in preparations for the Tree of Cliftoff. Yami and William will be sacrificed for the Witcheral Court. Here are the juicy parts. He explains that from now on, the Tree of Cliftoff will descend in seven days. Seven floors and seven gates will slowly open. In that place are 10 devils coordinating in the Tree of Cliftoff place. As the floor goes deeper, the strength of the devil grows stronger. The devils in the upper part have the same level as a dark triad. The devils in the deeper part, the lower level, are beyond that level. We're doomed. Like the dark triad wasn't strong already. You know what? Throw the whole continent away. Throw the Clover Kingdom away. Throw the Diamond Kingdom away. The Heart Kingdom. Uh, the Witch Queen Kingdom. The Dwarfs. The Elves. Everybody that's going to play a part in this art, just throw them away already because this is screwed. This is, we are done. <laughs> I mean, the Dark Triad are already strong enough. You've seen the crazy battles that Dante had went through with Yami and you've seen how William just getting low diff by Xenon and Nox over here talking about that it's 10 demons and the upper level demons are the same level as Dark Triad and the lower the level they are beyond that. <laughs> We're gonna need some angels, Tabata? Like what? Devil possessed user Dante who can use 80% of the king of demons power 
and it's 10 devils that are, you know, probably out of five of them are on that level or three, or you go lower and all of a sudden, like these devils are even stronger. So it just shows you that that gap between 80% and 100 is huge, it's humongous. But we'll, we'll have to find out and see some more info because this is crazy. I, let me relax, let me relax, all right? Let me, let's get back into it. <laughs> so Nox continues to talk with this world-ending type beat with a smile on his face. He says that if Luciforo, the last devil, comes out, then the world will end. And in the meantime, with the operation completing, Yami and William will die as well but the two of them will stay alive until the final door is open. Now, this is good news for William fans. Yes, there are William fans out there. <laughs> and Yami fans, because this gives the Clover Kingdom time, and not just the Clover Kingdom, but everyone that is involved with this whole Dark Triad fiasco, that it gives people time to rescue Lord Pachika, also Yami and William, before the final door is open. Even though you really don't want a single door to be open, but we already know Tabata, he's gonna give us despair. Doors will be open. <laughs> but it's also a good thing that Nox was in Dante's room because he got a lot of info out of this because Nozel is even surprised that Nox got all this info by himself. He said, this man gathered all this information alone in the most dangerous part of the country, in the central part of it. You know, that's outstanding. You know, Nox for MVP. You know, early MVP vote if there was a pull of the MVPs in this arc, Nox has to be first place because without this info, everyone would be screwed. But let's see how everyone else will play out in this arc as well before anyone casts any votes yet. Real is also surprised after hearing this news. He's saying that why is the Dark Triad, why do they want to do this crazy dangerous thing? And Nox tells him that there is no reason to understand them and I don't want to understand them. And I understand Nox's point of view, but I truly want to understand the Dark Triads. I want to know what made them like this, what led them to that point, because we've seen a small story of Dante's flashback, but that wasn't really enough. But I really want to know Vanica's backstory, especially Xenon, because he is the most mysterious. But what led them to the point of attacking Yuno's royal family, taking over, and you know how they summon demons, you know, getting in contact with forbidden magic? I really want to know that story. Nox explains that even if the gods forgive or the devils forgive, I won't forgive them, which, you know, he has this whole persona of an assassin, which I understand, you know, he has this killer look because he really wants to take these guys out. <laughs> However, he admits that he cannot defeat the Dark Triad with his ability, he knows his limit, but I will make Asta the strongest. Anti-magic has the possibility to do so, which that is something we already know because anti-magic in a world full of magic, it counters everything. Nox then explains that the gate of the underworld will open in three days, and during that time we will retrieve Yami and William and destroy the tree of Cliftoff. To do that, we should make an elite unit that's possible to fight against a devil with Austin in the center. It's our turn to attack the Spade Kingdom. And that was the end of the chapter. So this chapter for me, 10 out of 10. You know, this was everything I wanted with the info dump of demons. A lot of theories were confirmed and we'll talk about that in the chapter breakdown, but I'm so excited for this. But if you guys enjoyed this chapter review, make sure to leave a like on it. Comment below and tell me your thoughts about this chapter overall. If you are new to the channel, subscribe for notification bells on. You guys have an awesome life. Take care of yourselves and I'm out.